In this video, we're going to talk about top 10 shows on Netflix. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Some of you may recall being overwhelmed by all the choices at Blockbuster or your local mom and pop video store on a Friday or Saturday night mystery documentary. To start, you may get stuck forever asking, is this the best choice? The same thing happens when you browse Netflix. The alternatives are infinite. So much so that Netflix's own programs often get lost. You should be able to log on and binge without scrolling. Looking for streaming networks for more choices? See our list of the best TV shows on Holo, Amazon, or monthly power ranking. Number 10. Breaking Bad Some say The Wire is TV's best drama ever. Other prefer Mad Men or The Sopranos, which is so important historically that it opens many textbooks' current TV eras. Breaking Bad grew rapidly, publicly, and with flair. It began TV with a few episodes of the tonally problematic wobbling, the balanced finding of an ambitious acrobat, and stuck the landing for the next five seasons. Who cares if the DVD cast called it a dramedy? American recognized what it was, but not where it was heading. How was Walter White's Brian Cranston tragic ballot held up over time if current TV is an indication? It's a proud grandfather looking over his kids with delight and kind judgment. Breaking Bad didn't invent unlikable anti-heroism in the mainstream drama, but it made it popular. Don't miss the show's unnecessary but wonderful sequel, E.I. Camino. Number 9. The Great British Backing Show The Great British Back Off, accessible on Netflix, avoids dramatic contrivances, which is part of its charm. The contestants on GBBS or Sunny, mutually supportive amateurs, albeit extraordinary skilled ones, and in any given episode, the worst crisis is Judge Paul Hollywood pronouncing a schoon. Underbacked, GBBS is a beautiful, motivating, invigorating, whimsical, and cheerful program, even with new hosts and a new judge. Number 8. The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance. At Netflix is The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, a prequel to the Jim Hansen's Dark Crystal, which is amazing but not required. Two ancient characters tell our heroes an essential story. It's about Tra, a lovely region, and an occurrence that caused an imbalance and blight in their crystal. All the answers they seek will be brought to life by the most ancient and sacred of arts. Our heroes grumble and one falls asleep. Age of Resistance acknowledges this bias, but move on. The fantastic production fully explores the world Hansen and Frank Oz created in the original film. You can compare it to The Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, but after 10 hours it stands on its own as a stunning, innovative, emotional, joyful and extraordinary wonder. If that sounds dramatic, it's because the show inspires genuine enthusiasm. Turn subtitles on to help you recall character names and immerse yourself in its beautiful universe we are so lucky to have. Number 7. Better Call Saul Bob Odenkirk's role as corrupt lawyer Saul Godman in Breaking Bad's second season surprised fans of his work on the SNL and Mr. Show. We didn't realize this was the start of a tragic and amusing story that would become an epic Russian novel. This prologue to the Wins Gilligan's drug drama is vibrant and sometimes tragic. Auden Kirk and co-star Michael McKean, Raya Seahorn, and Jonathan Banks show how flimsy morality can be when money is involved. Number 6. Seinfeld I watch Seinfeld reruns at least 20 times a week, and I'm not alone in that practice. Seinfeld is still making money for the network's 20 years of its final, which had 76 million weavers. Its pop culture knowledge and disdain for sitcom conventions were unparalleled. Seinfeld laked long-term relationships and love triangles. No one ever apologized Sappy style. 
never learn from the errors Larry David and colleagues told stories of the ordinary, casual misanthropy from folks who thought they were fine or average but were actually nasty. Without mentioning sign language, it's easy to see how sign felt differentiated out from its rivals. Number 5. Schitt's Creek Former soap star Moira Rose, played by Catherine O'Hara and penned by Schitt's Creek co-creator Danny Levy, was the series' main draw for the first two seasons. She's Cam Catney, What's Your Favorite Season? Awards with the Best Wig Collection on TV. And then Johnny, Eugene Levy, a former video store owner, finds purpose owning a motel. Moira gained a council seat. David Dane Levy founded a store and found love. Alexis Annie Murphy graduated high school, long story, and enrolled in community college. In season three, four, and five, the Roses put down roots, and the residents of the Chits Creek, formerly considered as Reeves, have learned to tame them, in some cases by developing sharper edges of their own. What began as fish out of water comedy about snobs eating mozzarella sticks at the Cafe Tropical has become a kinder, warmer, more nuanced tale of what happens when the fish develop legs. Call it the sweetening of the Schitt's Creek. Number 4. The Good Place Some of the best sitcoms have villains. Arrested Development, M-A-S-H. Most of their characters are self-absorbed, intolerant, or jerks. It's too early to put the good place in such a good pantheon, but it helps explain why Michael Schur's latest comedy feels both homey and bold. The Good Place is a unique program that's open about its lead character's shortcomings, establishing a moral playground that challenges Eleanor's darkest inclinations at every turn. Kristen Bell plays conceited, impish character, who will steal someone's coffee then ask why the universe is against her. She's a perfect straight woman in an afterlife filled with virgins, but the show doesn't care. Following sitcom tradition, the show understands we're all bad at times. Number 3. Unbelievable Unbelievable is revolutionary. It can be difficult to watch, but that's not unusual for a rape story. Its three principal actors are excellent, yet other TV shows and movies have used similar actors. Unbelievable distinguishes itself by assuming everyone knows rape is a hideous transgression. That's assumed. It assumes you have seen The Handmaid's Tale, Boys Don't Cry, or The Nightingale and are familiar with vivid, horrific rape depictions in media. One in six women and one in 33 men on the other side of the screen had been raped or attempted rape. It's not interested in trauma and violation. Amazing knows you hate rape. It's no snoop. Under creator Susanna Grand, it focuses on the survivor's perspective, on what happened and how it stays, but also on the subsequent transgressions. Unbelievable is a series of such quiet strength that is full of impact may not be felt until after its completion. Number 2. Babylon Berlin Babylon Berlin is a labyrinthine but human investigation of the 1920s Germany. This neo-noir focuses on a mysterious Cologne detective, Walker Brunch's Gurian Rath, and an empowered, aspiring flapper, Liv Lise's fries Charlotte Ritter, who wants to work in the Berlin's homicide division. Berlin is a hotspot of the clandestine activity due to the Stalin's rise and the Treaty of Versailles. The show's first two seasons built one of the TV's best episodes ever, included an outrageous twist you will never see coming. Despite the historical period, we don't see a Westika until season two's finale, but the insidious turning of the tide, the loss of democracy, the mounting guilt against the Jewish community, it's felt throughout as violence erupts onto the streets among a population still shattered by the World War I. Babylon Berlin isn't dark. It might be devastating or dazzling and joyful, cognitive and emotional. It takes the time to spend an entire episode lazing by a lake. But when it pays off, you will be amazed. The show's German, expressionist flair, beautiful costumes, 
and characters are irresistible, though dubbed its finest in its original tongue. Number 1. Friday Night Lights Who knew football, a sport known for meatheads and brute aggression, could inspire one of the TV's most touching dramas? Friday Night Lights is heartbreaking, furious, and full of shattering defeats and great victories, like the game in Dillon, Texas. Tender and nuanced aren't football turns, but they work here. Full of heart but not sweet, shot gorgeously yet hyper-realistically, and having a great cast, the show convinces episode after episode that football is life. Full hearts, clear eyes, can't lose. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go.